Hello, it's Saturday the 18th of February and this is your Birmingham News Weekend Magazine. And because it's the weekend, I'll be here with you for the next hour to take a look at what's going on around Birmingham, the West Midlands and beyond. Oh yes, welcome to the Birmingham News Weekend Magazine. Now coming up on today's show, we'll start by taking our regular look at what's up on this week's Community Notice Board. Then straight after that, we'll turn to Carl Jones for his weekend business update. Our intrepid reporters Steve Green and Jason Forrest will join us with some more interesting guests from around the area. Then a little later on, Carl will be back with his assessment of the latest on the silver screen. Then Johnny Doom will have his pick of the gigs and we'll remind ourselves what's been going on around our area too. So it's all within the pages of this weekend. Weekend Magazine. Welcome back to the programme with me, Lee Bannister. Now, Carl will be back again shortly for his regular weekend look at the silver screen. But first, if you like nothing better at night than curling up with a cup of cocoa and a scary book, you'll probably be familiar with the work of Birmingham-born author Adam Neville. Now, he paid a visit to his former home just days after the news broke that one of his novels has been turned into a big budget movie by an international production team, including actor Andy Serkis. Now, you'll remember Andy from the Lord of the Rings films, where he was pretty scary himself playing the sinister Gollum. I bet you didn't realise he was actually the actor behind King Kong. Yeah, he was. But anyway, our intrepid reporter Steve Green caught up with uh, Adam at this month's meeting of the Birmingham Horror Group, where he was finally able to talk about the project, which has been shooting in secret in the dark forests of Eastern Europe. It still hasn't properly sunk in, because I thought, you know, in 2008, I had a really tough year, couple of years at, at Virgin Books and we were bought out and, and slowly demolished. Um, and I'd given everything to that company, you know, 12 hour days for five years. And between uh, 10 and midnight over a couple of years, I'd written the ritual, feeling really homicidal about the company I work for. <laughs> and I expressed it all in this book and I, you know, I didn't have a publisher or a deadline. And I just thought, God, that guy that sat in that room, that t tiny little room I had in London, and I had this tiny little desk from Ikea, it was about that wide, and I could just get a chair between my bed and the desk. It was like a cockpit I had to climb into. <laughs> and I'd write for two hours, you know, even if it was just a, a couple of paragraphs or a scene, and I thought back, I thought, 2008, I was so unhappy at work, and I was writing that, the first bit of it, on a computer and that broke, then I did it longhand. Then my girlfriend, who's now my wife, loaned me her laptop and I finished it on her laptop. How did that, eight years later, well, become me in a mountain in Romania looking at these great actors? Perhaps without that with energy. With the characters' names. Perhaps without that energy that came from your, your dislike of the job. You wouldn't have actually oh, yeah. had the, the obsession to write the book. Well, I'm always grinding against something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always breaking myself on the wheel against something. <laughs> so and we have no idea yet when the, uh, when the film is due out. It's, it's, it's been picture edited now. I believe the post-production finishes towards the end of February or in the spring, and then it go, it'll go through the film festivals, I think, for the... American and Canadian, you've got to find a film agent to distribute it. But I think Entertainment One are distributing it. They're a huge company um, in the UK and Europe. Certainly are. I mean, the E1 symbol is all over films. Yeah. A lot of horror as well. I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to spot. Well, also, as I was telling some of the guys outside, what is really unusual about this, I mean, it's an independent film with a good budget. But also, like David said to me, the director, he said, you know, you just wouldn't get a film made about four middle-aged men, a horror film, anymore in America. No. And he was so attracted to the fact that um, that a novel about four men um, in their 30s had been, a horror novel had been made. Well, because it's about time he had some proper adult... So adult th horror. Th this is this is quite novel, 
um, for a, a production of this size. And the Birmingham Horror Group meets on the first Saturday of every month at the Gunmakers Arms in the city centre. It's a very old building, so maybe you spotted a few ghosts in the audience? Anyway, Steve will be back with more guests at the same time next week. Anyway, it's time to close the pages of the Birmingham News Weekend magazine for Saturday. Now, I'll be here at the same time tomorrow. And then there's more news for Birmingham and the West Midlands every weekday with me at one, and then Mike is here at six and nine in the evenings. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here at the same time tomorrow. Try a bit.